Knock knock knock, may I come in? Yes. Hi, my name is Mahalit and I'll be your nurse today. May I please ask your name and your date of birth? Check in the wristband. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and provide privacy. Wash my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, into, uh, explain what I'm going to do. Some like explaining the procedure. Okay, so today we're gonna um, have you um, get a nasal cannul cannula uh, per your doctor order because that can help you and uh, assist you with uh, some oxygen. Is that okay? All right, thank you. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna uh, wash my hand before I start any patient care. So wash my hands. Here is my nasal cannula right here. Gonna take this and plug it to the oxygen source. Okay, so we'll pretend I plug it to the oxygen source. So just make sure this goes inside the nose, not like outside, because we want the oxygen to go inside. And make sure you don't turn it backwards because if we do, um, the oxygen is not delivered uh, properly, so that might cause uh, dryness and it's gonna cause some skin issue. So we're gonna put it inside the nose like this. And, oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, so like this. Put it under the ear. And we make sure, so after we insert it, we make sure that this is secured. We don't want it loose, so make sure it's secured. That way, like if the patient wants to move, it doesn't come out. And uh, to make sure it, the oxygen is delivered properly. So under the ears, like this, it's tight. See under the chin, tight. So this is how you put the nasal cannula. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can put the mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And after each patient use, we're gonna discard this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and explain this the, why we needed to use the mask uh and why we didn't use the nasal cannula so i'm going to go ahead and explain the procedure and you make sure we educate our patients so we're your doctor ordered um the mask because we cannot go over five liter by using the nasal cannula because we wanted to we, we can use to the uh, we can use on the mask up to 10 liter so you needed more oxygen and we wanted to keep it above 90 uh, we don't want any you know, oxygenation to be below 90 so we're going to use the mask that can help you and assist you to breathe okay to get enough oxygen so same thing so we're gonna go ahead and put plug this in the oxygen source and then we'll get this one Put it here. And hold it into right here. Gonna put this on the nose and put this over the ears. And like, as you see, when we put it here, we have to um, like see the bridge of the nose we have to go ahead and like downward a little bit so that we can like bend this this metal straight as you can see we just move it a little bit closer gently secure and we're gonna go ahead and adjust the mask the back
okay, and make sure it's tight under the chin all right and we're gonna use this two by two goddess like under here because going forward this is gonna irritate their skin and we do not want any skin issue for and we don't we do not want any skin breakdown that's the reason we use this goddess and if they need we can use it like right here as well anywhere that we can might think of like the skin can uh, get irritate or break down and over here as well so this can prevent any further um skin uh, breakdown or any irritation right and then this is how we put the um the mask right and we make sure uh like assess the skin this is how i put the gloves we make sure we assess the king and after um the patient finished this therapy the oxygen therapy all everything is to be discarded and i'm gonna this is i completed my procedure i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and undo privacy and document my procedure thank you